You're listening to the 15 Minutes of Fame on the Podcast Business News Network. Dr. Susan Eisen joining us here. She's our holistic chiropractor, natural healing alternative medicine doctor. Again, Susan Eisen, thank you so much for being here and joining us today. How are you? I'm well. Thank you for having me. Well, we are excited that you're here. Uh, I know I read all about you on the website. Uh, you're a functional natural medicine. You practice that and uh, you really get to the root cause, right? Uh, you're also a Lyme uh, literate holistic chiropractor, deeply involved in changing policies for Lyme patients in the United States. So welcome to the show and thank you for doing what you do. Would you mind just introducing yourself to our listeners? Hi, I'm Dr. Eisen. How are you? Great. I'm doing fantastic and excited you're here, a fellow New Yorker, right? Absolutely. I was actually born in Manhattan. Oh, beautiful. So really <laughs> extremely New York. I live on Long Island, but um, thanks so much for being here. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I know you've been practicing for quite some time, although you don't look old enough. <laughs> Thank you. Good genes and good eating and habits. A holistic I think. lifestyle. Well, yep. Mm -hmm. To the table here. Um, you know, helping patients with lifestyle and wellness choices. Obviously, people will come into my office in pain. Um, and things have kind of organically evolved with my story. But basically, um, you know, sometimes pain is not exactly what we think it is. And it's really important to kind of do a deeper dive and find out what the root cause of that pain is. Um, I myself was bitten by a tick in 2008, and it kind of set me on a different journey, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, discovery um, of how to treat this disease and just how widespread it really is. Um, so basically, it brought me more into the functional medicine space of dealing with infectious disease and immune boosting uh, supplements and things that we can do to heal ourselves. Wow. Well, thank you so much for, for being here and, and for joining us. As always, it's a pleasure having you. And uh, I'm excited to learn more about this work that you're doing because I'm reading and you're helping uh, so many people with this. And I, I apologize for what you went through, but it also gave you new insight to help others, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, it's it's a huge wide spread problem. Um, but through some of my patients in the city, you know, it brought me closer to actual work with some of the top Lyme foundations like Project Lyme in New York City, who's having a gala next week, as well as Global Lyme Alliance. And, you know, just to, to have a greater understanding of how pervasive this problem is and how many people may be suffering. But, you know, that's not the only thing that I direct my work with. I've also, during the pandemic, obviously developed some natural protocols to protect myself and my family and by extension, patients. And so I've made a practice of developing really quick, less is more protocols to help protect people, whether they're suffering, you know, unfortunately with asymptomatic COVID or um, long COVID or just want to protect themselves or even people who are just getting sick repeatedly, you know, ways that they can help to protect themselves with the foods that they eat and maybe just one or two supplements, capsules a day that will help protect them and, you know, let them be out in the greater community without worry and anxiety. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you for sharing that. And I know you're helping those with nutrition and wellness uh, overall. And uh, you really helping people in so many different ways. I mean, there's a lot to you and what you have to offer here. Uh, you know, not just Lyme, but with, um, you know, other treatments for people Metabol dealing with pain. And, and, and there's so much to you. So I know we have only a short time today. We have 10 minutes left in your show. What else do you want to make sure that we, we point out for our listeners? 
Um, well, one thing I, I could give you stories about different patients, but for example, like one phrase I like to say is that pain is not a normal condition. And people think, oh, I'm getting older, you know, this is normal. It's not normal. And it's something that people should investigate, whether um, it's through a chiropractor local to them or what have you, getting blood work to yeah. see there's something underlying. So that's very important. But very often people will come into my office presenting with pain and maybe not having really a lot of answers. And I think mm -hmm. as a holistic doctor, um, I like to look at the whole picture. Um, and we do a whole analysis of symptoms and lifestyle, uh, if you will, with the patient, what they do at their job, you yeah. know, day to day is to get a better, deeper picture including their sleep habits, their eating habits, all of it. Um, because it often will present a story that needs to be investigated. And then, of course, it's always important to do blood work or see what the blood work is that the labs that have been done maybe by their regular physician to see if everything was done correctly. Um, and just to try to, you know, tease out what the, you know, different symptoms are that somebody could be suffering with and helping them to eat the right foods or add the right supplements um, to help them, you know, become more balanced. Got it. Well, thank you for sharing that. My goodness. Well, you know, this is amazing work that you do. You've been helping so many for so many years. And let me just ask you about your love, uh, you know, for this practice. And you clearly love helping people. Could you share a story or two of some of the people that you've helped um, over the years? It's always great to hear positive testimonials. Well, okay. <laughs> um, I will start with one patient mm -hmm. who... Okay. Basically, you know, her A1C was high and basically, you know, she was just having stubborn, you know, um, fat around her waist, you know, which mm -hmm. very, uh, it's not good because it is, you know, considered inflammatory. Mm -hmm. And so I put her on just a protocol of things that could help different medicinal herbs that could help with insulin resistance and help to, uh, with her immune boost, basically. Oftentimes, I like to look at, mm -hmm. you know, thyroid and the adrenals, which oftentimes doctors will say, oh, your thyroid is off, you need to go on thyroid medication, and they completely ignore the adrenals. Unfortunately, you cannot correct a thyroid without a correcting the adrenals. They're oh, kind of connected. So you really need to address both at the same time. And so I myself stumbled upon a protocol of like having an adaptogen, um, a medicinal herb that's just very good for the pancreas and just something that is an immune boosting myotaki serum. And you know, it started to show not only greater um, wellness, but patients were starting to drop weight a little bit unexpectedly. So, you know, we use that. But again, I focus entirely, you know, in pushing the immune system and making sure that that is working to its best. Beautiful. Optimization. I love it. And now, let me ask you, you're doing um, a lot of in-person uh, in your office, and also you tell do telemedicine too. I do telemedicine. Obviously, during the pandemic, that became a much greater need. People were at home and having a lot of anxiety and not wanting to go yeah. outside. Um, so, yes, I do telehealth and, uh, you know, in office, uh, absolutely. Um, I have patients that are, we have treat in California, Washington, D.C., Kentucky, um, New York, you know, mm -hmm. 
know, it just, yeah, we well, definitely can do that. And I was reading about you have a, a secret ingredient, the Zenith 440 hydraulic table. What's that? Well, the in office, that <laughs> I'm a petite person. So when I went to chiropractic school, I went having one idea of how I was going to practice. Of course, that's kind of funny. You never should go in with any preconceived uh, notions, if you yeah. will. Um, and I saw this table that was an electric hydraulic table. It's mm -hmm. a little bit different. It makes noise, but I can work on a variety of different patients without harming myself or a lot of chiropractors from, you know, the practice of doing the side posture maneuver, they'll develop arthritis and problems. And so, uh, but more than that, I can see pregnant, fully gestational patients, women on the table, um, and I can adjust ribs and every part of the spine without a uh, hard trauma to the ligaments. So it's actually been an amazing table, what it can help accomplish. And I work with a lot of patients who have scoliosis, you know, because of that table and the way that it operates with a air compressor and, mm -hmm. and being able to reduce or increase resistance as needed. I can actually straighten a scoliosis, um, maybe not 100%, but pretty darn close. So it's been very, very helpful. And I wish I could say a lot of chiropractors use it. It's not as common in the New York State area um, as one would think I wish more would, you know, but it's a little bit of an expensive table. So no, absolutely. Uh, and personally feel patients deserve the best. So great. Well, <laughs> thank you so much for sharing that. Uh, also in our last few minutes together, how did you want to leave off with our listeners? Why should we reach out to you? And of course, we would love to find out how we can contact you too. Well, as far as a chiropractor, you know, I'm very gentle in depth. Um, I don't do the same type of adjustment. It's really dependent on where the patient is at that time in the office that day. Um, much more gentle and I think comprehensive treatment. I also work with acupressure and muscle balancing. I obviously give patients lots of homework to do at home because I yeah. do believe patients should own their spine. Um, and then as far as on the holistic or functional medicine side, um, yeah, sure, there's naturopaths and medical doctors and all sorts of different professionals who do work in this space. Um, but I really work hard to uh, have a less is more protocol so that yeah. patients are taking less. Um, I think when you overdo it, it puts too much stress on the liver and kidneys. And so that's always uppermost. Um, and also in the case of Lyme disease, if a patient does need to have um, antibiotics or specific testing, I personally cannot prescribe the antibiotics, yeah. but I have resource doctors that I can refer to and work with. So Amazing. Well, it's an honor having you here and excited that our listeners can get to know you here on a one-on-one -on -one basis. And clearly you're, um, you've helped so many, you love what you do. And uh, if someone wants to make an appointment, uh, they can reach out to you. And also uh, just want to point out, uh, you know, just a little bit about your background, Dr. Eisen, tell us, you know, where uh, you, you went to school for this and just a little bit of what inspired you to get into this career and, uh, you know, practice the functional natural medicine along with, the, you know, being a Lyme uh, literate holistic chiropractor, if you don't mind. Sure. Um, well, as a kid growing up, I was actually always more interested in art and fashion. Really? Okay. But somehow I, it didn't work out and I ended up going pre-med. I was always very interested in science as well, but pulled more toward natural. Even mm -hmm. I noticed, you know, in high school, when I had a headache, I would maybe not want to take aspirin mm -hmm. or you know, a pill. And I just would wait 20 minutes. And most of the time, the headache. Amazing. Yeah. Interesting. 
um, instead of running and taking something. Um, I also looked to uh, medicine and was actually accepted to medical school, but yeah. I've, at the time there just wasn't enough of a kind of integrative approach. And even still to this day, we're fighting, you know, Dr. Hyman, Mark Hyman was just before Congress yesterday. And, you know, still fighting for, you know, healthy food as medicine. And so it's always been, you know, something that I absolutely am behind, but didn't know about that. Um, and so I just did go to what I thought was more natural which was chiropractic, but um, uppermost and understanding, you know, even on the medical side of things, um, I read research data literally every day in the week from email lists that I'm on. So I keep very up to date with what's going on and then try to extrapolate it to a more natural perspective. Um, Beautiful. Yep. Yeah. Well, thank you. Um, it's exciting to have you here. And uh, unfortunately, we must go. How do we reach you? So I can be reached at 212-213-CARE. Perfect. 212-213-2273. My email is office at drsusaneisen.com. And my email, I'm um, sorry, my website is Dr. D -R -S -U -S -A -N -E -I -S -E -N com, And anyone can reach out to me for a quick um, exploratory phone call. Beautiful. Thank you so much. We appreciate that and appreciate your time here today. And hopefully we will connect again. Thanks so much, Dr. Eisen. We appreciate it. Much. Bye-bye, my fellow New Yorker. Bye. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcasts on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's, it's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay.